What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 11 of my blind sun and moon let's play. In this last episode, we saved Lily once again, and her awesome Pokemon that doesn't know any moves, Nebby. And then we battled How, and now uh, we are going to continue our trip back to Route 1. And back, and then through Route One to um, to battle Kahuna Hala, which I believe is the next step, maybe the last thing that we do here on this island. Uh, so we got Rising Star Joshua here. So he's a rising, he's rising on up. He's got a Growlithe. Um, in between the end of the last episode and this episode, I did a little backtracking to make sure I didn't forget any major things. I didn't find anything major, but as a result, I did level up some of my Pokemon. I changed my party out just a little bit. Uh, nothing major, nothing you guys haven't seen before, except that I did catch a Growlithe, which we are now looking at now. I'm not going to use the Growlithe, but it's in my party at the moment. So, that is the update for you all. Um, and the reason I did some of that backtracking and maneuvering is for a special surprise for you guys that I'm not going to tell you about until next episode. So stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. Enjoy this episode. And then uh, I have a special surprise for you guys on the next one. So what we got here, we got an item, another super potion. They are really giving a lot of meds out in this game, like really early. So this is just telling us that Iki Town is down here. See, I thought we were going to Route 1. I thought that's what the guy said. Ooh, berries. There's a Pokemon feeding on the berries. What's going on here? Heracross? What? What is this thing? What is this thing? Oh my god, it's called Crab Brawler, and he's got a black eye, and he looks drunk. <laughs> oh my god, this is too good. He's so cute. Okay, so he's a crab, so what, he's water type? Um, punching gloves, fighting type, water fighting. So, um... I'm level 21, so I don't even think it matters. I don't want to kill this guy here. Let's switch into... Let's switch into... Oh, man. He does a number on my team. <laughs> he really does. Let's go into... Let's go into Peck Peck here. I either murder this guy or... He's got Rock Smash. Interesting. And he hits hard. I'll just, I'll just hit him with a, with a Brick Break. It's a high power attack, but it, he doesn't... Such a cool little Pokemon. I want him. So let's do it. Uh, because if he hits me one more time with my attack, my defense drop, he'll kill uh, Peck Peck. Uh, I'm going to throw an Ultra Ball at him because his health isn't super... I'm not... 100% confident that I would have caught with a Pokeball. I don't know much about this Crab Brawler guy, but he seems all right. He seems he seems a okay. Peck Peck grew to level 16, and wants to ooh, wants to learn Pluck. So that's just better than Peck in every single way. I'm assuming, right? Yep, every single way. So let's drop Peck, pick up Pluck. Fresh is my Growlithe. He grows to 10. He wants to learn Odor Sleuth. I don't really care about Odor Sleuth. I'll just keep the old moves for now. Now we got Crab Brawler data here. Look at him. He's so cool. He's going to evolve one time. It punches so much, its pincers come off from overuse. They grow back quickly. What little meat they contain is rich and delicious. Okay. That is a reference to Pokemon being eaten, and they are very rare. They very rarely discuss this, but I remember in Gold and Silver, they were someone was trying to sell you a Slowpoke tail, and that was one of the few only other times that they ever actually talk about eating Pokemon. So that's that's barbaric that they're talking about it here. But we're talking about a brawler, 
So, um, what do we name this one? What do we name this? Crab Brawler. This one, we're gonna call this one McBro. Uh, we're naming this one after Sam. It's kind of the joke here is uh, the muck is actually MC. Part of the reason I call him muck, he's a boxer, Irish. He's getting because he's got the eye. He looks like swollen eye, but it could be drunk. So it's uh, uh, muck like he's like he's Irish, but also MC uh, uh, to pay homage to uh, Septile MC, who of course I don't know if you guys knew this. Uh, we're basically brothers because we have the same first three letters of our name Geo and George uh, We're both San Francisco teams And ooh, a manky another new Pokemon. I'm lucking out today So okay once again don't want to kill you let's go into First is kind of weak. Actually, most of my Pokemon are kind of weak, but I feel like Gambit could take a hit. Actually, Karate Chop's going to hurt a lot. This was a mistake. Oh, good. He went for a Leer. Oh, now it's going to one-shot me. <laughs> Let's see if I can survive one. Survive one and put off a... Um, put off a Thundershock on this guy. Good. He popped Focus Energy. Level 10 and me at level 15. 14 He called for help. I, I don't know that I can still Capture okay good. It didn't appear if a Pokemon showed up there I wasn't sure that I was gonna actually be able to throw a pokeball at it in previous games when there have been multiple Mon on the screen they say you don't know which one you're aiming for because of course Who could possibly aim a pokeball aim anything that they throw? I mean, no. When you throw things, it's haphazardly, and there's absolutely no capacity to position it and put it where you want it to go. You know what I mean? Gambit's actually only level 13. This is a problem. I need him to be a higher level than that. But we're making progress. Uh, no, we don't want to give Mankey a nickname, and we're going to send it to the box, because Mankey's great and all, but I don't really... I don't really want to use him. They're just they're just sending out all of the uh Oh, he's got a favor. Alright, yeah. So we got a side quest here. Uh on Route 3. Rock Rough. Ten Carrot Hill. So uh hiker on Route 3. Hacker on Route 3 wants a Rock Rough. I already got the Cutie Fly one, so that one's Dunzo. That one's Dunzo Washington. He's really lost here. Can you go to 10 Carat Hill? Yeah. Pay me for the hassle. Part-time work. It's not really part-time. It's a one-time job. What's this? Island challenge marker. Explore the meadow carefully. You may find that there's more to it than meets the eye. What meadow? Am I about to go into a meadow or the meadow I was just at? What are you talking about? Well, now they got me thinking. They got me thinking a lot here. But for now, I'm just going to follow this. We're going to trek this back towards Icky Town. I'm looking forward to see what moves you can put your Pokemon poor soul into, blah, 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 blah. Geo something. Lily's, she's not a trainer, but she knows how hard it's been. It must be a great achievement. Nebby wants to get out of the bag because he's being held captive. This is his... Uh, He's a trainer who can use fighting type Pokemon to its fullest. So this is kind of the gym, this is the actual gym leader thing. So flying or psychic type moves is what they are advising I use. Um, fairy is also pretty good. I got, I got my little, little P man. 
but I'd really like to heal my Pokemon first, and it would appear that they don't want me to do that. So what can I do? Um... Yeah, like, they're all really weak, actually. Can I go see my mom? Let's cut this, and <laughs> I'll come back once I've healed my Pokemon. I have returned. I have returned with healthy Pokemon, and I put one of the Pokemon away. And it may seem like a strange move. It was, uh, it was Peck Peck I put away. It's a flying-type Pokemon, and I put it away, even though we're about to beat Mr. Hala into the ground. And he thinks, uh, he's asking me if I think me and Brion are ready, and I'm gonna say definitely. Most definitely, we're ready. Um, the reason I put him away is a part of the surprise that I have for you guys next episode, and I can't tell you why. I can't. But, we're about to step up to the plate. We don't get tossed around. We playing for keeps. This ain't no lost and found. Hold! Oh. I've been expecting you. You just spoke to me. What do you mean you're expecting me? You, you, we were talking prior to this. Allow me to properly greet the young adventurers embarking on the island challenge. I am Hala, the kahuna of Melee Melee Island. Shall we begin? The final trial here on Melee Melee Island will be a Pokemon battle against me, the kahuna. It is known as the Grand Trial. Well, Geo, you have been entrusted with a sparkling stone by Tapu Koko. Now show me and your partner, Brion, and your team's full partner. All right. <laughs> Old Hala here will also be going all out. Let the grand trial begin. Mm. Mm-hmm. Whoa, okay, he's got this swirly magma storm thing going on. He's got three Pokemon. Mankey, Machop, and what? Crab Brawler, maybe? Manky. So he's level 14, so he's a low level. Uh, but he does outspeed me. Man, Manky's fast, but Disarming Voice should do the trick here. Uh, super effective. He, he lives it, actually, but that's okay because I still have Aqua Jet. So even if that was a. Maybe it was a speed tie, I don't know, but maybe he outsped me. I just wanted to finish him off. I only wanted him to get one attack off on me, so we'll finish him off there. Uh, he's got Makuhita, not Crab Brawler, Makuhita. So we'll keep in here. Chances are... Chances are Disarming Voice won't take out Makuhita. Hmm, fake out. I should have known that was coming. That was smart. I'm not sure if he's going to pop a Z move, if that's part of the kind of... That's the deal here. The whole... That was a crit, and he still survived it. Uh, so he drops my accuracy, but I don't think Disarming Voice can miss, so I don't think it matters. It's pretty much the only move I'm, I'm clicking here. Uh, he does have Crab Brawler. She doesn't even have him a chop. Uh, so let's stay in here. I can resist his. I can resist his water type moves. Oh, here it comes. Z move, Jenkins. All out pummeling. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm so dead. Oh, actually, uh, it looks like I resisted it. Or it sounded like I resisted. No, it's just that was just the sound effects. I'm just a beast. Brion is just an absolute beast. What a terror. So, okay, weirdly, Water Gun and Aqua Jet are actually just regularly effective, and Disarming Voice is super effective, so maybe he's not Water type? He's definitely Fighting type. But I guess he's not Water type. That's interesting. That's an interesting decision. The Crab Brawler goes down. Some more EXP. Gambit growing to 14. McBro growing to 11. 
Great. Great to meet you. <laughs> humph. Wait, that doesn't... He was just laughing. Why would he go humph? The results come as no surprise to me. What a fine trainer. And what fine Pokemon, too. Tapu Ko Ko Ko. Ho, oh, and our mighty Tapu Koko agrees. Hmm, perhaps Tapu Koko is hoping that a day may come when you will grow strong enough to battle it as well. Except this Z-Crystal. It allows trainers to share their power with their partner Pokemon. What? Oh, he's going to give me the, the fighting type one. So I guess I have to grand trial complete. So I guess I get a Z crystal from every every island trial and every uh, Kahuna battle. So this is Phytinium. We blowing up over here. Observe, Geo. If you wish to use the fighting type, move your arms like this. Ben hip and blah 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 blah. Okay, we got it. Oh, come on and slam. With this victory, I have cleared all of the trials of Melee Mail Island, and uh, I take a stamp, and uh, Pokemon are going to obey me. Some uh, kind words for me, and I'm going to meet Tapu Koko someday, is what he's trying to say right now. Hey, look, it's Tauros. How about I step you up so you can ride my Tauros wherever you'd like? Wow! So what is this, a mount? Ride pager, so I can page the Tauros? Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty sweet, honestly. I'm wearing a helmet, which is great. How is super supportive. What a great friend. Looks a little bit different on top of a mighty Tauros. All a string, blah, blah, blah. Let me explain the pager. Tool that summons a ride Pokemon. Press Y, press B to dash. Special outfit. A little romp around Alola with Tauros here. I'm sure you'll be charmed by him. It will kindly come running to help you wherever you may be. So I just got a mount. Congratulations, Jill. I do hope you find Ride Pager useful. I worked on developing it with a friend of mine. I'm amused that you won without even using your Z power. Let us have a Pokemon battle next time we meet. Very well. Off to your island challenge you may go. May the future bring you happiness. Yeah, I didn't use Z-Power in that last battle because all I have is normal type. Ooh. Did you guys see that? It, I, I kind of skipped it really quickly, but it said I can ride, I can bash through the rocks on Route 1. So, uh, it looks like we're going to have a little, we get False Swipe to help us capture some Pokemon. That's good too. This is very good. Uh, and then we're gonna go somewhere. Something about a boat. And Lily wants to ask a favor first, of course. See, Nebby is. Wants to go home. Now she wants to save it. She's not a Pokemon trainer. Of course I'll help. So she's just gonna come with us and we're gonna have to protect her because... For some reason. For some reason she's not... She's a very helpless person. I don't know why that's the case. Uh, we're going to keep running this way. Because I remember seeing some rocks down near my home. And I'd like to bash those rocks wide open. But that's kind of going to be... You know... We could make this a short episode and just end it with what we got, but since I'm here, why don't we just bash open some rocks and let's see what that's got coming for us. Hop off there.
Getting into a battle. Get some really weak Pokemon. Oh yeah, Wingle. Forgot about Wingle. He's only level 6. It's almost not even worth it, except that running away takes about as long as just killing it in one hit anyway. So why not? Why not? The pre-evolution of Wah Buffett. Why not, ladies and gentlemen? 18 experience. Hey, but fresh leveled up. That's good. Okay, so what do I press to break open these rocks? You said I could break open rocks. Ah, it's B. <laughs> 10 Carat Hill. Okay, so there's a rock rough in here. Uh, presumably. Yeah, they said that inside this cave is a rock rough, which would be cool to capture. Ooh, a rock and roller. While we're at it. Rock and roller has sturdy, so I'm pretty sure I can just hit him with a, a water gun. Take him down a peg. Okay, he doesn't have sturdy. <laughs> he does not have sturdy. And so I'm going to have to try again to capture another one of those. Uh, let's break through here. Turn back up towards this way. Cause this isn't, oh, I can't go. Can I? What do I get if I got off? Yeah, okay. So Tauros can't fit up there, but I can. Another super potion. And uh, let's see, Rockruff, another rock and roller, Zubat, excellent, great, just what I wanted. <laughs> I don't know that I have ever been excited to see a Zubat, ever. I mean, who would? Ugly little bats. Although I remember when Pokemon was first coming out, uh, there was a Happy Meal that that you could come with a little tiny plushy Zubat, and I thought. I thought that was kind of cool. Ultra Ball, that's good. So they're giving us Ultra Balls really early in this game. I'm not sure why they're doing that, but I'm not really complaining about it. We got another Rog and Roller here. So maybe the other one just didn't have Sturdy and he has two abilities. Uh, or maybe... Maybe I'm just too powerful. And I murdered that Rog and Roll. Let's try Disarming Voice. This shouldn't kill it in one hit. Rog and Roll's got a lot of HP. There we go. So now we should be able to catch him. Ah, he called for help. Shucks. Oh, it didn't appear. Good. Now let's catch it. I'm gonna need to buy some more Pokeballs, too. Yeah! <laughs> Rog and Rolla was caught. Lil P Dings 22. The rest of the team gains EXP. Rog and Rolla is cool. Becomes Gigalith. Someday. Uh, no Alolan form, and we're not going to give him a nickname because we're not going to use him. But he got put in my party because I had a vacancy. I would have rather had Rockruff in the party, but... Guys, we cannot always get what we want. My bro's only level 11, but maybe he'll be strong enough. Let's check his, uh, let's check his stats here. Attack is 25. That's pretty significant. His speed is actually 20, which is not slow either. Um, hyper cutter. That's a that's unfortunate. I I didn't really want hyper cutter as his ability. I mean, I don't know what his other ability is, or if he even has another ability. But I don't like hyper cutter as an ability. So that's too bad. Um, this guy does have sturdy, and I was lucky enough to catch one that has an everstone, which is also very very cool. But let's do this. Um, I want to level up. I 
want to level up Ali a little bit more here. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's get back on the Tauros while I'm at it. So I can't push that giant rock. That must be a strength thing as opposed to breaking down walls. Alley. Oh, I forgot that I'm using Alley. Even though I just said it, I I was under the impression that I had selected um Gambit. But Alley'll do. Alley's gonna take this thing all the way down. What was that? Magnitude Six? Is that what it said it was? Magnitude four this time. After a harden does not take it out. And that was a crit. Wowza. Rogan roll is beast. We can just finish it off with a metal claw. At least. I was about to say, at least I hope we can. I really hope so. So 10 Carat Hill is uh, longer than I expected. You know, I was hoping that we could just run in, run out. We're popping off uh, through a doorway here in the 10 Carat Hill's farthest hollow. There's a hard stone here. There's a lot of stuff just kind of lying around. And a nugget for... Extra cash. How about this? A burn heal. So this is cool, guys. You see what's going on here? We're in a little... This is to the victor go the spoils. And we got a grassy area out here. I wonder if this is where we catch uh, Rock Rough. Because I didn't see him inside. We only had a couple of battles, but... Whoa! Carbink. That's crazy. That is crazy, having a carbink out here. So that's four times super effective, so I'm not going to hit him with a metal claw. I'm actually really worried about killing this thing, but Ali's not that strong, and carbink is super bulky. Magnitude 6 is not overly powerful. Yeah, he looks alright. That was a crit, too. I'd like to weaken it a little bit more, so let's go with a mud slap. Smack down. That's so cool that there's a carbink out here. Uh, now let's, uh... Put him in an Ultra Ball. So, I mean, I have him low, but I don't have him that low. Man. I love that there's a Carbink out here. Oh. Even inside the... Uh... He's calling for help now. That's fantastic. I was... <laughs> Shucks. Calls in another Carbink. And these guys are making quick work of Alley here. Uh, but this other one, I'm just gonna... He's level 10, lower level. Uh, so I'm just gonna four times super effective him. He still lives it. That is crazy. That is crazy town. This one's got rock throw. Now, I know the other one has boosted his attack and is way more dangerous and higher health, so higher, harder to catch, but he's level 13, and if I ever choose to use him, I'd rather him be closer to a useful level, you know what I mean? He's gonna hit hard in here, so maybe I could mud slap him again if I really wanted to, but I think, uh, I, think I just got unlucky with the Ultra Ball, so I'm gonna throw another one. I think it'll get him. No, no, no it did not. This guy is boosting though. He is setting up all over my face. Uh, should I mud slap him? 
Let's mud slap him. He has a little he has a little defense on him. He should be he should be able to take this. Yeah. Now he's really low. He's sharp and hard. Like a diamond. I guess that's kind of the point. This carbon carbink. He's still getting popped out of this thing. That's crazy. So this is gonna murder me. I'm dead for sure. Wow, I lived on one. That's impressive. Here's what I want to do. Uh, I'm going to switch over to Gambit. And Gambit is going to T-wave this guy. Um, I'm going to resist his rock-type stab. And I'm going to T-wave him so that he is easier to catch. Because I'm throwing Ultra Balls here. He's calling for help. But I can always uh, Magnet Bomb... And his help didn't appear. So, didn't need to worry about that too much. He's faster than me, too. Man, Carbink's good. There we go. Now we got him paralyzed. Paralyzed at, like, 1 HP. There's no way. If you break out of this Ultra Ball, I don't know what else I can do. All right, there we go. Doesn't get much better than that. Gambit up to 15. Fresh to 12. Fresh to death. Wants a helping hand. I'm gonna say no to that. Why am I getting all of these assist moves? Didn't even know. Way to go, Carbink. Number 101, hidden in this back area. I never would have sunk it. My last episode is now uploaded, in case you guys are wondering. Let's check this guy's summary, see how good he is, huh? That is so much defense, but his attack stats are really embarrassing. And uh, I'm not... I'm not about playing with walls in a playthrough, to be honest. So, uh, let's send it to a box. And I guess, let's keep looking for a rock and roller, shall we? No, not a rock and roller. What am I saying? Rock rough. Rock rough. Machop. That's not quite what I had in mind. You know what? It Tell you what. Because I don't want to waste your guys' time doing tedious work, what I'm going to do here is keep fighting until I get a rock rough. And uh, when I do get a rock rough, that's going to be the start of the next episode, just in case it takes multiple battles just to save you guys some time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up. We uh, we did it. We beat uh, Kahuna Hala. And we're going to be moving on to the next island soon. So as always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys next time.